All right, so the question is, is it bad that I'm not gonna play AAU basketball until the 11th grade? And the answer to that is, so like if you think about any great um, athlete, engineer, entertainer, they've been doing, they've been, uh, Malcolm Gladwell calls it the 10,000 hour rule. Like they've been putting in work since they've been kids. Um, so 11th grade, you're gonna be 16, 15, maybe 17 years old. That's late to first pick up a basketball and play AAU. Um, if you've already been playing, then that's better. But I'm not sure what your um, what your experience is already. Um, AAU is great for like, I mean, AAU is great to get film and footage, and it's great to already be on a good AAU squad, travel to the country, play it up against the best competition. I mean, your local high school, you'll get good competition, but it's not as good as going to those big AAU tournaments. Um, so, of course, it would be better if you could play AAU all, as a kid so you can play against a good competition so you can sharpen your sword. But if you're playing in the 11th grade and you can get on a good squad, then you'll be fine. It won't, won't make a difference. So don't be afraid to play it. I mean, start at, at 11th grade if you're, if you're hopping on a good squad. But if you're not, um, man, you got to sharpen your sword. You got to... You gotta, you gotta you gotta be so good that when you do hop on that AAU squad, and I'm, I'm sure they've probably been playing together for years and years, you gotta come on there and you gotta be dope. You gotta you gotta get your you gotta get the job done. I mean, you gotta be that guy. It's like, who's this guy? Where would he come from? He's killing it. Um, and then another thing is like, you won't have enough. I mean, you'll you'll have film because really recruiting. I mean, it's granted it does start in the ninth, tenth grade, but like the eleventh and twelfth grade is when you're gonna like be getting heavy like. You know, recruit visits. Uh, guys are gonna come out, want to see your skill set. Um, they're gonna want to look at your grades and stuff like that. So um, it's better that you're starting as a junior, not a senior. But it it'd have been good if you were playing on that squad as a, as a sophomore also. Um, always, the more experience you can get at a higher level, the better. But if you're, I, I would say. It's not bad, but you just got to know that when you hop on the court, you can't be playing around. You only got one more year left in high school if you're already a junior. Um, I mean, just no, no dicking around, no games. I mean, you got to come on the court ready to play. Um, you should be doing things in your off time that when you do hop on the court, you're already ready to roll. So when you hop on the AAU squad, you automatically got the green light because you'd be surprised. You could be a great player on an AAU squad, but if you don't have the green light already, it's going to be hard for you to get that... Um, just that knack of like, yo, I'm the guy, I'm gonna be the guy, pass me the ball when we need a bucket. So it's not bad that you're not, uh, that you are playing it in the 11th grade, but it'd be better if you could um, play earlier. But it's too late now. So you just gotta do the things now that puts you in the best position possible to succeed. So, I mean, she, what is it? It's Sunday night, you should be out getting shots up working on your game. Uh, Monday, you should be getting out shots working on your game. I mean, put the videos away, video games away, turn the Netflix off, tell the chicks you, you're working on your purpose, you're working on your plan. Um, and just just ball out, man. You only got two more years left in high school. Um, you can go the JUCO route. A lot of people do if you need to. But I, I'd rather see you get a D2 Division One scholarship and, and take it from there, man. So, yeah, ball out, work on your game, get dope at what you, whatever you're trying to get good at and, um, and, and handle your business. Thanks for tuning in. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. And I'll see you guys at the top. Thank you.